Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will discuss the difference between smallpox and chickenpox. So, without further ado, let's get on to it. 2000 years later. Okay, now what is the difference between smallpox and chickenpox? Fever. In case of the smallpox, the fever occurs 2 to 4 days before the rash. This is very important. So, first fever occurs, then comes the rash. This occurs in smallpox. But, in case of the chickenpox, the fever occurs at the time of rash. So, fever occurs at the time of rash in case of chickenpox and fever occurs before, 2 to 4 days before the rash in case of smallpox. This is very important. So, you can understand this. Next comes the rash appearance. In case of smallpox, all the pox are in the same stage. This is very, very important. And in case of the chickenpox, the pox rash are in several stages. So, if the rash given has different stage, then you will understand this is chicken pox. This is not smallpox because in case of smallpox, all the pox are in same stage. So, you can understand what is the appearance of the rash. Next, what is the development of the rash? What is the development of the rash? In case of smallpox, the development of the rash is slow. It's very slow in development. Slow. And in case of the chicken, it is uh, very rapid. So, you can remember uh, a chicken is rapidly walking. From that, you can understand that chickenpox is having a rash which is rapid in development. Remember, rapid development rash in case of chicken pox but slow development rash s for slow s for smallpox you can remember like this also s for slow s for smallpox so slow development of the rash and what about the distribution of the smallpox rash more pox are found on the arms and legs in case of smallpox so always remember Arms and legs has more pox in case of smallpox. But in case of chickenpox, more pox are found in the body. Basically, in case of chickenpox, you get centripetal distribution. That means more in the body. But in case of smallpox, you get centrifugal distribution. That means more in the arms and legs. This is very important distribution. Next, on palms and sole. Whether we find the rash on the palms and sole, we can understand it is smallpox or chickenpox. So, if rash is present on the palms and the soles, then it is smallpox. Then it is smallpox. But in case of the chickenpox, the rash usually absent in case of the palms and soles. And what about the death rate? Let me tell you. In case of the smallpox, usually 1 in 10 people die. So, it is very fatal, you can say. But in case of the chickenpox, it is very uncommon about the death. So, you can understand these are the main difference. So, let us revise. First, fever. So, if the fever occurs before the rash, 2 to 4 days, then it is smallpox. Otherwise, if it occurs at the time of the rash, then it is chickenpox. And what about the rash in case of the smallpox? The appearance of the rash? All the pox are in the same stage in case of smallpox. And all the pox have several stages in case of the chickenpox. What about the development? Slow development in smallpox, rapid in chickenpox. Distribution, pox are more found on the arms and legs in case of smallpox, more found on the body in case of chickenpox. And pumps and soles, 
usually small pox are found on palms and soles but in chicken pox on palms and soles the rash are absent what about the death in case of the small pox usually 1 in 10 people die but in chicken pox very uncommon so these are main difference now let me show you how it looks now you see this slide chicken pox it looks like this red color in the left side on the right side you can see the small pox how it looks so they look totally different and in the left side you can see the distribution of the small pox and chicken pox you can see the small pox is more distribution more distributed to the periphery you can see the small pox is found more on the hands on the arms on the legs on the face but in case of the chicken pox you can find mostly the rash is present on the body this is very very important and if you check the palms and soles in case of small pox you can find the rash on the palms and soles but in case of chicken pox you can find very less number of pox on the palms and soles so let us sum the distribution and on the palms and soles about the smallpox and chicken pox in case of the smallpox the distribution is more on the arms and legs so you can remember on the periphery arms and legs but in case of the chicken pox it is more on the body so it is centri petal in distribution in case of chicken pox more on the body and in case of the small pox you can find the rash on the palms and soles but in case of chicken pox you cannot find thanks for watching this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel bye bye